What's up everyone and welcome to Ben's Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2024 GMC Sierra 1500. Let's get right into it with a chart. GMC is going to have a lot of ways to configure your Sierra 1500 for 2024. Eight different trims will get you started, ranging from the Pro at 46,700 and ranging all the way at the top there at Denali Ultimate, 82,500. So not only are there eight trims to choose from, but there is a major price difference across these eight. So hopefully there is one of these that falls in your budget. Yes, they are all expensive. Engine options, and there are four of them. The standard at the bottom is going to be a Turbo Max 2.7 liter inline four, 310 horsepower, 430 pound feet. Going up to the SLT, it will change your standard engine to a 5.3 liter V8, 355 horsepower, 383 pound feet of torque. The AT4s are going to have a 3 liter turbo diesel, standard 305 horsepower, 495 pound feet of torque. And that Denali Ultimate will have the big old 6.2 liter at 420 and 460. You'll notice the available sections um, of what you can get beyond that standard engine, which is nice that every trim level does have at least one other option you can have. All are paired with a 10-speed automatic transmission. When you look at the drivetrains, those top four trims will have only four-wheel drive configurations, but those bottom four can be rear-wheel or four-wheel setups. MPGs, nothing too stellar unless you go with the Duramax, which is a nice 23 city, 29 highway. Uh, the worst you can do will be that 6.2 liter at 15 city 19 highway but what do you expect for truck mpgs it's not usually why you buy them real quick guys here are ben's car reviews i strive to be the most accurate relevant information in under 10 minutes there's no misleading and no waste of time if that's something that's intriguing to you and you like this content as you watch please like and subscribe so you can see the channel let's keep going the gmc sierra is a staple in the truck world ever so popular in delivering designs that are arguably the best in the class in my opinion this current gen sierra looks phenomenal and seems to be literally everywhere on the roads let's break down what's unique about this sierra led lights are standard and one of my favorite parts of the, this design are the headlights they just simply look so sharp crazy how headlights can really make or break the visual of a car or in this case a truck one of the best things in gmc's truck lineups are the visual differences in the trims they actually look different from each other which a lot most models don't a big part of that are the grills there's vader chrome finish on the denali ultimate gloss black upper and dark um, nickel inserts on the at4x signature chrome grill on the denali premium chrome molding on the slt and monochromatic grill with gloss black mesh inserts on the elevation all giving their own version of something that does look nice and like i said different love to see that Active exhaust is standard on the Denali Ultimate and activated from sport mode. It's available on all trims, SLT, and higher as well. Capac system is also available. Dual tips are on the AT4 and higher. The rest will get single tip exhaust. Wheel sizes range from 17 to 22 inches, and there are an overwhelming amount of different designs per trim that you can get, including sizes as well and finishes. There's a lot of ways to get your wheels all look nice all are well done there is a front six piston brembo brake upgrade with color matched rear calipers in is available on all but the at4x so that's a cool touch that you might not have known about multi-pro tailgate which is standard on all but the pro offers tons of functionality and i think this is a great way to make a truck more appealing to a buyer especially one that will be using the bed often the available X31 package includes off-road suspension, hill descent control, durable underbody skid plates, heavy-duty air filter, and exclusive X31 badging. You see a lot of these with that X31 badging on them. Definitely a popular package, and many packages beyond that. You'll get black recovery hooks on the Pro through SLT. Other ones will be available in Chrome. Stabilitrack stability control system is standard. The Denali and Denali Ultimate get the Denali Premium Suspension with Adaptive Ride Control. All the available drive modes are Tour, Sport, Terrain, Snow on two-wheel modes only, Tow Haul, and Off-Road. The Max Trailering Package includes a 9.76-inch rear axle, enhanced cooling radiator, revised shock tuning, heavy-duty rear springs, and a 220-amp alternator. The AT4X has class-exclusive front and rear locking diffs, 
and Multimatic DSSV dampers. The AT4 and AT4X have a 2 inch suspension lift as well. The Pro has an available graphite package, Elevation has a premium package, just a couple more that I think are going to be on the more popular end. The AEV edition of the AT4X is the overlanding galore setup. It'll have AEV stamped steel front and rear bumpers with front winch capability, 5 AEV hot stamped boron steel skid plates, exclusive AEV, AEV badging on bumpers, embroidered head restraints, and all weather floor liners. I owned a Colorado ZR2 Bison, and trust me, these AEV rigs are sick. The short bed max cargo volume is 62.9 cubic feet. Standard bed maxes at 71.7 cubic feet, and the long bed will get you 89.1. So a lot of different capabilities there, depending on your bed size. As far as best bang for your buck, look, this thing is expensive. There's no denying that. And I think the days of getting extra amenities that you want but don't need in your full-size truck are over unless you can afford it. I'd go with the Pro, add four-wheel drive, an option in the graphite package for the elevated looks. That's still going to run you high, but still essentially the cheapest way to get this thing with four-wheel drive and some elevated looks. You'll just, and you'll see in the next section though that you'll get really no bells and whistles on that Pro. Going along with the well-done exterior is the top-notch interior design. We know there's been an emphasis as of late on truck interiors and GMC has answered the call with the Sierra. I mean, they should anyway with these prices. The 13.4 inch diagonal GMC premium infotainment system is standard on all but the Pro. The Pro will get a 7 inch setup, so not too bad. At wireless Apple CarPlay Android Auto capability. A 12.3 inch diagonal driver's digital gauge cluster is standard on all but the Pro. Once again, the Pro will get a 3.5 inch monochromatic display. Definitely duller, but no issue with it, just not flashy but it still gets you the information you need. A heads-up display is available on the AT4 and Denali, standard on the top two trims. A six-speaker audio system is standard on the Pro through SLT, seven-speaker Bose premium system on the AT4 and Denali, and then a 12-speaker premium Bose audio system on the top two trims. There are up to 13 available camera views in this, dual-zone automatic climate control on all but the Pro, which gets a single zone. Rear vents are standard on all trims, though. Wireless charging on the AT4 and higher. There's a heated steering wheel on all but the Pro. 10-way power driver's seat with lumbar, standard on all but the Pro. 12-way passenger seat on the SLT and higher. Heated seats are on all but the Pro. Heated rear seats on the AT4 and higher. Ventil ventilated front seats on the AT4 and higher. Seating materials range from vinyl, which take a while to guess, you'll get on the Pro to cloth, to leather, to perforated leather, to full grain leather. So lots of different ways to get your seats. Obviously full grain you're going to be getting on, one, on the Denali top trims. And like I mentioned, vinyl at the bottom. Many great drivers assist, safety and technology features to be had here. Overall, I think GMC could have given more to the lower trims, but they have so many uh, that it makes sense why they did what they did. It's just so tough when you want some amenities for your money and you have to spend so much to get it. I mean, you can get heated seats on a $25,000 vehicle elsewhere, but not a $50,000 truck. It just doesn't make sense. Interview guys, if you're in the market for a full-size truck, checking out this Sierra, definitely think you're on the right track for getting something that looks great, performs well, and gives you tons of options to get it just how you want. Going up against some big players, it's brother, or it's cousin, the Silverado, obviously the F-150, Ram 1500, Toyota Tundra, Nissan Titan is still kicking around. There's definitely a lot of options here to get a full-size truck in 2024, uh, but GMC certainly gets a lot of things done in a great way, and they all do. They're all in their own way, look attractive, get the job done, different price points. Uh, so certainly cross-compared to get narrowed down to the one that you want, uh, but if you want to go with the Sierra, I think you're making a great call. should be a great truck for years to come. Hopefully this video laid things on a clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this Ben's Car Review. Please subscribe if not already. If you're needed for a future review, drop in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, I have that option. Check that out and join if you'd like. And I'll catch you on the next Ben's Car Review.